Hey guys, what's up? Uh, new guy here on the scene. Uh, really loving Clash Royale. Uh, thought I'd start bringing some little videos. Uh, for, you know, I'm not going to be a top level player like the people I've been watching, but I'm also not quite free to play. I uh, spent a little bit of money. Uh, currently, you can see right here. Um, I'm really liking this deck. Let's uh, watch some replays. Not all the settings and whatnot for this, so we'll see how it goes. You're running the giant skeleton goblin barrel with all those defensive decks. So, so I started using that for, uh, around the defense and kind of just. I also really love the mirror. I think that if they did is a much needed change here because it would hurt to me it not boosting commons and rares so you can see the golem uh, at least currently what I'm working on is some sort of a golem deck to try to come back because I'm hitting a, a wall so to say seen uh, similar decks to this a lot. Think of the latest buffs. I think on Musketeer. Uh, seen the call. Uh, but I don't think they should have reduced the damage 25%. Uh, it seems very excessive. The benefits of shot like minion and such, and now it doesn't. So a minion hard will wipe it out pretty easily. This one, uh, so this is the deck that netted me um, 35. Uh, got me to my max of what, 240, uh, 24, 44 was my max with this deck. A whole lot lower. Uh, well, stop. <laughs> I haven't really faced any cheese decks, but just decks that were better. Matter of fact, I lost more to this, to Kai Goods. Uh, stacking the wizard in the back, letting your elixir build up, and then they would drop uh, Golem or Rider. Uh, you know, the stacking of troops uh, it can be pretty brutal. So this deck's whole goal is, is not to burst you down like decks, it's to just slowly grind them. Skeleton's awesome for defense and really surprisingly good tier power. And drop it for like 1k, 70, 70 something. So what kind of videos would you like? It's like, I kind of want to the in between it. Nobody paid, and I paid a lot. So as you can see there, um, and you know what, I also don't want to just show wins, because I think you learn more than from losses. Uh, so a little of me, Zero Cool, there's my name. Uh, clan where we're at quite a few but always got room for some more active players looking to push my highest at 2444 was achieved let's see what else we got here some matches against my clan so this one I yeah this one I started getting wrecked this guy got 32 trophies off of me, and uh, now, as you can see, my deck has changed, and I kind of copied his deck. I've been watching him, and he's he's climbed up to 2,600. Uh, he did make a modification to the deck you see here. He, he uh, dropped the balloon. He dropped 
dragon or something. I made a huge mistake in this early. Why I didn't arrow the skeleton so painfully. The rip. This deck, like 9% of the other ones, is kind of defensive. The goal is to defend one out with the goblin skeleton or the goblin barrel. And uh, the big thing that got me over the hurdle was putting uh, without another kill arrow target, they can just save your save their arrows minion. You get the combo. That is the combo that says tombstone shouldn't be used. Only really you drop a tombstone and okay. Combo though, not okay. So I've been thinking of swapping out tomb for Tesla since they buffed it recently anyway. But then I'm also just considering going with a completely new deck. This deck, uh, my opponent's deck, uh, average cost is uh, 4.8 or something crazy. I, I don't quite understand how he does it. It's high. Mine, my current deck average is at 4. Uh, which is weird because the mirror apparently is calculated at, even though I would think you could calculate it at lower. The knight or arrows plus. One would be so I have a lot of ones in there. Possible ones. So I've been watching uh, Bolt. I, I wish, man, I, I wish I could stream more. Watch that high level play. Listen. How much money people have. All for spending some money on a game you enjoy, but some of it. And the more I watch this, the more I'm thinking I need sort of that's against hog riders. Direct me. But other than the dirty expo users, not mean. There's our clan. Uh, rank somewhat. I think we're international. Yeah, we're international, so rank pretty well. Let's see what else we got. My clan mates. Uh, hard to find a good clan. You know, either you you spend money and you pass them, or you don't spend money and you're kind of super slow. Let's show this one was a was a good one. I showed that one I got wrecked. Let's take a look at this one. Probably call it. Maybe see if anybody in the clan wants to play one. So I won this one. I need a, a similar deck, but looking for minor tweaks. I thought the arrows in the opener. It's in their opener. But uh, an opening barrel is a great way to test the water. I had the baby dragon in my deck time and I was just always unimpressed. And it kills the knight. I love the knight. Not too early. Have, have you uh, ran into the sneaky arrows? Or the sneaky arrows in the corner or the top, somewhere else? And arrows? As he takes the beating and keeps on going. And of course, he's got his arrows ready, but I have the double barrel. Get it, get it. Oh, I 
should have been man up there. Throw another barrel anyway. They wouldn't do that much damage. But I do have to keep reminding myself that this deck is kind of defend then push. Sneak in, a, sneak in damage here and there. Boner. Uh, it's you, in time. I mean, it helps, but it still just does so much sneaky damage. It's, it's hard to defend against. And, see, that time I snuck him in. Should have dropped my skeleton earlier so that he. Range. Able to arrow all of them. Yeah, I always consider the giant skeleton as a non-aggressive. You know, it's not something that I'm trying to uh, focusing on getting to there. It could cool, it's cool if it does, but it, it's great to drop off and let it just kill. Let it die and then take everything with it. This is where I make a mistake. Nope. But I think I do lose end up losing to his um his direct damage. Keep fireballs to finish. Yep, boom. So now I know I'm gonna lose eventually. And then that hurt right there. I, I should have dropped the knight there, but let that one take a little bit of damage. And arrows to finish me. And that's it. So he kinda had the same thing, but he had uh, a little bit better pushes. A little bit better answers. Oh, I won that one. Huh. I thought I lost. Was, I didn't watch this replay before. Obviously, I played the game, so. Alright, let's see if we can get something. We got two people online. So this is the deck that uh, uh, CLSA from the originals is running. I didn't like his giant skeleton in there. I, I really I didn't quite understand what the whole point was. It seems like it would make it way too expensive. And then maybe unneeded. So I've been kind of watching the people that are crushing me. Say he's at 2657 now. So he's going up still. And I can see that he, he changed it from when he played me. I, I just don't know if the giant skeleton is worthwhile. I guess it's super defensive. But my current uh, build is going to have archers in it instead and let's just let's just run one hopefully this recording is working uh, make it not too long hopefully the audio and all that stuff works I had to crank up the amplification a whole lot give him a good luck because I'm not trying to be a douche or anything feels like it's want him to be able to prepare for this. So I'm not going to cast it. I will, on the, however, um, drop this in the back corner. And then suck it in. So he's a little less prepared for it. Exactly sure what to do. Just be slow. Take our time. Double elixir is a is a godsend. Drop 
the beef. See what he's got for it. He's allowed his own beef. Quite interesting. Good, I got a little push going now. Got a little bit more damage in, but not too much. So I can I can be happy there. Now I know he has the rocket too. So that's a good thing. This is hopefully we can clear up some of this as soon as possible. Get it back to the tower. Oh, I don't like it when my archers go the wrong way. dropped his arrow so now is a great time to drop the minions. Okay good good and we got it in overtime. Good game, good game, give him a good game. Well played. Ooh, 31 trophies. I'm a little surprised but but happy. Back over the 2400. So we'll we'll call this good for now and hopefully uh you'll see me more. Uh, Going to try to start uh, streaming also on Camcord, but my computer has a little bit of issues with all that, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks.